Now that we've gone over the basic menus and buttons within the Arduino IDE, let's take a look at a sketch. I'll fire up my Arduino software. And here's the default blank sketch. Before I close that, because remember, Arduino, when I close the last sketch, quits. Before you close that, click on File, Examples, Basic, Digital. And we're going to look at this for the code. Now, in general, and it is a little more complicated than this, but for now, we're going to talk about two things, the setup and the loop. But before we talk about that, let's talk about comments. Comments are going to save you in the future. When you're writing code, you might be writing it just for yourself and you say, I'll remember everything. You won't. Trust me, you won't. I never do. Writing comments is such a good thing to do for sharing with others. And it's also a great thing to do for yourself because you will forget what that one line of code means. So there's two ways to write com comments. First way is to do forward slash, write an asterisk, and then everything you type in here. Doesn't matter what it is. I can just type anything. You see it's in light gray. That means it's, it's a comment. You end this area of comments with the asterisk forward slash. So you see if I get rid of this one, the whole file turns gray. The other way you can write a comment is right here on line 17 of the Blink example. It's to do two forward slashes. So if I say this is a comment, you can see it's black. Right now, the Arduino IDE thinks that's code. If I want it to be a comment, I just add two forward slashes to it, turns gray. So again, trust me on this one, you want to comment your code. I probably don't do it as much as I should, but you definitely will not regret it in the future, especially when you look at code two, three years from now, you won't even remember what you were thinking, but comments will save you, it'll save you a lot of work in the future. So the general setup for every sketch, like I said before, was void setup, which is the setup routine, and void loop which is the looping routine. These are called functions. So the first function we're gonna look at is the void setup. In the blink example, it sets the pin mode, pin 13, to output. What does all that mean? Doesn't really, mean, doesn't really matter right now. We'll talk about that later. What I want you to understand is that every sketch has a, a setup, a void setup, and that setup gets run one time whenever I power up my Arduino or whenever I press the reset button. After the setup is run, it goes into the loop, and that loop is run continuously forever. Just goes and goes and goes, which can be a disadvantage at times, but more often than not, it's an advantage. It's great to not stop. I don't have to tell it to keep reading a sensor and keep telling me information. It will just continually do that. And that's the basic overview for a sketch. There's a lot more to it, and we'll get to that later on in this video series.